welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle from Fire Natural Hair and Faith. Welcome to those of you who are new. So in today's video, I'm going to show you quickly how I do my horizontal buns to make them nice and full on my fine natural hair. For starters, I like to do this style on blown out hair. You absolutely can do it on curly hair and that's fine. It's just a different look. So for the sake of time, I'm already starting with my hair parted in the center. I don't usually part all the way down the back. I just kind of use my fingers and separate. Before I even put my hair in any kind of bun, I like to put some Jamaican black castor oil on my ends. It's just something about castor oil, Jamaican black castor oil in general, and I'm using extra dark that just allows my ends to be really, really smooth. And because I did just trim my hair not too long ago, I want to, you know, kind of preserve that. I'm just gonna take a small amount well, I'm not even going to see a small amount. I kind of like slather my ends in Jamaican black castor oil. That's the amount. And then I'm just going to just put it on the ends of my hair. Now for this style, you can lay your edges if you want to. I am not going to lay my edges for this particular style. I just find that I really kind of like the nice messy look. So I put the Jamaican black castor oil on my ends and then... I'm not even going to clip my hair out the way. This is one of those really lazy day hairstyles that you can do, especially if you're stuck in the house like me because of, you know, the whole pandemic and I work from home. So I'm just going to do this hairstyle. This is something I like to do um, while I'm in the house, but also in the summertime or just a time when you don't really feel like doing your hair, but you still want it to kind of look cute. After I've gotten this Jamaican black castle all through my hair and I've smoothed my hair, again, because I'm already prepped sort of my hair, you know, it's already detangled. I don't need to like go through and like comb it or, or do too much as far as um, prepping it. So what I use to secure my buns is the Puff Cuff Mini. This is the tiny Puff Cuff and actually, this is not the smallest one. There is one that is smaller than this, but this is the mini. I think the micro is the smaller one. So what I'll do is I'll take my hair and not putting it in just like clipping it on. What I'll do is I'll take my hair and I'll spin the base and then I'll take it and I'll wrap it around like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the puff cuff be my uh, secure clip to, to just hold it in place. And let me say that sometimes this style, you have to play with it a little bit to get it to look the way you want. Um, and I'm absolutely going to use bobby pins to help it out. But I'll use that to kind of secure, to kind of like secure most of it. And then what I'll do is I'll go in after it's it's sort of secured with the bobby pins. One on the top, and then I'll take and I'll anchor one on the bottom. Okay, so that is pretty much secure. It's very loose, and again, you have to sometimes play with this. You might wanna take another bobby pin and sort of pin the side, but the whole idea is for it to look kinda of messy. Okay, so that's how I have this side. So that's one bun. And you can make them bigger, you can make them smaller. I'm going to show you on this side a variation of, of this. Castor oil. Another way I like to do this also is to secure it with the puff cup on the uh the base of the hair it's just a different look each time and that's what makes this a really fun style and it's very easy to do so i'm clipping the puff cuff on and i have it secured but it really is not tight it puts no stress on the hair and then i'm going to spin my hair around and i am going to wrap it and then secure it with the pens so one anchored on the top and this one actually may not even, it, you, you may need to just anchor it on the bottom, like on the side here. So that's it. 
they're at different heights but that's because I'm showing you like two variations of how how to do them and again you know you can play with the placement you can you know bring them higher you can bring them lower but this is pretty much how I do these buns so that they look you know kind of full anyway thanks for watching in tomorrow's video I will show you how I do my vertical buns and it's a little bit different because I like those to be a little bit more tailored and put together thanks for watching have a very blessed day